If you're thinking Pepsi and ribs, I don't know about that combination. Wait till you see this recipe. We're gonna change your mind. So the first thing you wanna do is locate some Korean short ribs. You have to go to the butcher and make sure that you ask for that cut specifically because they're not always available in the grocery store. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen those at the grocery store. You gotta make sure you ask because I don't think they are just sitting out. Or if they are, it's like one, a one in a million shot. It's like a specialty cut. You can tell from the packaging that we had to special order these from our butcher, our local butcher. Look at how beautiful they are. So these are beef Korean short ribs. How many pounds are we talking here? This was two. Good oh, question. That's two? So that's two pounds, but since they, there's it's like equal parts meat to bone, maybe not even equal parts, it's probably more bone than there is meat on each one of them. It sounds like a lot to get two pounds, but a lot of it is gonna end up being bone. So like, there's a few bites on each piece. Okay, so what I'm doing here is just putting them out onto a tray to make it easier to put the rub on. We always like to use one of these trays instead of a plate because then it just gets everywhere. You wanna find something much bigger than what you're putting rub onto, otherwise it will just get on the counter. Did you put anything to adhere the rub? No, I didn't. Cause they're already wet. I just went straight, straight up, rub. Straight up. And there's tons of fat in these too. So I also felt like I'm not oiling cause that's just gonna add to the fat on these. You don't need it. So I went with Uncle Steve's Gator Shake. It's just like a pretty standard all purpose rub. Make sure they're liber liberally covered, flip them over. You wanna do front and back. Front Don't and just back. do the front. The next thing we're gonna put together is the raspberry Pepsi barbecue sauce. Please don't leave this video. <laughs> like, ew, that's disgusting. You're gonna love it, I promise. We're not gonna lie. The reason why we came up with this idea is because we have had this raspberry Pepsi kicking around the fridge for, I'm not even joking, the past two years. This has, stuff doesn't go bad. Has it been two years? It, it might be a little bit longer. But it's still good. <laughs> no. Won't go bad. I don't think it does. So it starts off with some butter in a pan. See this smoking? This is what you want to get some brown butter action. You don't have to brown the butter, but it's just another element of flavor to a barbecue sauce. So I always like to do that. Then those are just some straight up frozen raspberries. We're oh, adding you added to additional raspberries. Ooh. I did, baby. So we've got some soy sauce going in. Then we're gonna go in with some apple cider vinegar. That's gonna give us that barbecue sauce type flavor. And then of course you gotta have ketchup. I know you don't like ketchup, don't look no, at me. I love ketchup no. in a barbecue sauce. I don't like it on scrambled eggs. I think ketchup goes on everything. Ew. And last but not least, that beautiful can of Pepsi. So you'll <laughs> see this one's not raspberry in particular, it's berry. Oh, that's even cooler. But see, look, popping it open, good as new. No one Two would ever know. Pepsi. It'll stand the test of time. <laughs> and we're gonna add in the entire can. So while that might look watery right now, it might be like, oh, that's a lot of water to this ratio. As it bubbles away over the course of 20 minutes, it starts to reduce down. Those flavors all melt together. And at the beginning, it does smell kind of like too berry. You're like, oh, that has an artificial. Is it really? Yeah, but see, look at, look at how Ooh, nice good and thick. consistency. You gotta really simmer it off. Let a lot of that water evaporate yeah, there. But I like that if you wanna take it thicker, reduce it down more. Exactly. Then you let it cool a tiny bit. I didn't really, because I was impatient. You can see it's super hot while I'm adding it to the blender. You could also just use an immersion blender. You could, but what I like to do, look at this trick here. Put the lid on, but then instead of putting that little thing in the middle, just put a cloth over the top to let some of the steam escape. I wouldn't take this extra step. I don't think blending is necessary. I like a little bit of chunkiness in my sauce. I don't think chunky is good if you're rubbing it. I'm I gonna do. be brushing this onto the ribs. I think chunky's fine. You can't, I don't want chunky or funky. I, I never said funky. Well, you can't brush it. Look at the I never said funky. Nice and smooth. You're, you're arguing with that? No, I think it looks great, but in a, in a pinch, if you're rushing, you don't have to blend. Yeah, you do. Then we're gonna get a clean grill, grill grate added to the Ninja. I am gonna be using wood fire flavor for these because we want them to be a little bit smoky. So you're just gonna fill up that little tiny hopper, put it in there. I try to pat it down a little bit to make sure they're all level before shutting the lid. Then we're gonna set it to grill. It's already set on high. We're gonna hit that wood fire flavor button and hit start. So grill, wood fire flavor. So we're high heat grilling, but with the smoke function. Yes, exactly. Then when the grill says add food, what are we gonna do? We're gonna add food. <laughs> Great job, honey. We're gonna take those ribs and put them on the grill. I made sure to lay them across. Maddie always has an issue with the way I put food Thank on the grill. Thank you. Uh, I, it's not me. It's called beautiful grill marks. You don't want them running that way. I know, sometimes I don't think of that though. I just put it on any way. I don't know way. how you can't understand that. Grill marks, it goes against the grill. All right, I don't think that matters. 
Now, some people might be thinking about or seeing this and being like, why are you guys not low and slowing those? This is basically, you're cooking this like a steak. So these are hot and fast ribs. These are not low and slow ribs. Ooh, those grill marks look so good. Don't those look amazing? That looks so good. And so you basically got half that batch onto the grill. Yeah, so a pound basically. I could have fit more, but I wanted to do them in two equal batches. And then I just took the sauce because it's nice and smooth and blend and just there brushed it right on. If there were chunks of the onion and still in there, that would be not good. I, I like a little bit of chunk to it. I already said that. No. It's perfectly blended. Brushes on nice and smooth. What I like to do is brush one side, then flip them over. You can keep brushing and flipping and brushing and flipping as many times as you want. But now be aware that because there is sugar in the Pepsi, it, they will burn a little bit quicker. Ooh, okay, those look fantastic. How long did this take you front to back, do you think? It was like 30 minutes tops. Okay, so during the week, you can have ribs. And these are like snack ribs. I wouldn't necessarily what? make these as a meal because Why? there's not a ton of meat on them. Whenever we make- but There's two pounds of ribs there. Yeah, I know, but because there's so much bone in them, that's not, I don't like to serve those as a meal. It's like, it's not like a regular, like you're going to a backyard barbecue or like a rib competition where there's like pork ribs. I don't agree ribs. with that. I don't agree with that. No ribs have a lot of meat on them. If yeah, you want to get down to brass tacks here, a lot the only rib that has a lot of meat on it is beef ribs. Yeah, that's what I'm picturing though. That's, since these are there's literally two bites per strip of meat on them. But that's like regular ribs, buddy. So that's not a meal. If you haven't tried using Pepsi or any other soft drink in making a barbecue sauce, we recommend it because it's great for flavor and it's great for creating your own combinations with frozen fruit, different types of Pepsi. If they don't make the berry Pepsi anymore, try regular Pepsi. You gotta look that up after. <laughs>